Welcome to the AI-driven intelligent software development platform DevOps GPT. I will show you the whole process of requirements development using DevOps GPT in existing project, including install DevOps GPT, configuration, develop requirements, test. First, let's take a look at the information about the project, repo Java demo backend, language Java, framework, Spring Boot my beta sun, DB client. DB Migration Flyway First, prepare Python Second, clone the code Third, prepare the configuration file Copy the configuration file and YAML, TPL to and YAML and modify it You need to replace the token of GPT with your token The final section contains information about the project to be developed as detailed in the documentation. After the configuration, run the startup script run.shore run.bat. Once the installation is complete, we simply access the URL. Start by selecting a Java development project. Then enter development requirements. The system will guide us to clarify the requirements. The system then returns the clarified requirements document, and we click continue. Wait for a moment, the system will design the interface document according to the project information and requirements. After a few minutes, the system automatically completed all the code development work for us. As you can see, the flyway, service, controller, model code is developed. After the code is developed, the system will also help us with DevOps tools compilation, automated testing, code scanning, and other self-checking and self-repairing work. If we need to adjust the generated code, DevOps GPT modifications can also be requested in natural language. As to add a field, you can see that he did a good job of modifying the task. In addition, DevOps GPT can automate testing and fixing problems. We deliberately changed the code to the run data type and saved it. After a few moments, we can see that the system found the problem and quickly corrected itself. We also support integration with DevOps tools like GitLab CI. I'm not going to demonstrate that for now. Finally, let's confirm the flyway migration script whether the new database tables have actually been created in our client. As you can see, everything is correct. We use the Swagger add a new data through the newly developed member API. We return to the database to verify that the data was successfully inserted. It can be seen that the data is inserted successfully. Nice. Of course, due to the limitations of the open source version, it is inevitable that we will sometimes need to handle it manually. We can use the IDE to open the current directory, workspace Java demo backend project. Review and modify code in the traditional way. Thanks for learning about DevOps GPT. More information welcome to our open source project.